Hi, it is almost automatic. You have a baby boy, you get him circumcised. Most parents do it because they think it's the right thing to do, but a new study may give lots of them second thoughts. Here's Molly Falconer. Doctors have long told parents the medical benefits of circumcision outweigh the risks, and more than a million of the procedures are routinely performed each year in the U.S. But now the American Academy of Pediatrics is out with a new policy that could reverse conventional wisdom and have parents thinking twice. The American Academy of Pediatrics does not recommend a policy of routine newborn circumcision because we found that the benefits are just not significant enough. The new guidelines announced in the group's journal Pediatrics challenges a commonly held belief that babies don't feel trauma during a circumcision. In fact, it says babies can have more severe reactions to other pain later in infancy see if anesthesia isn't used. The recommendation from the American Academy of Pediatrics comes after 40 years of research. It also includes the latest decades of studies into the possible medical benefits of circumcision. For longtime opponents of the procedure, the report is a breakthrough. I think it's a very positive step. Um, for the first time uh, in 10 years, the uh, AAP has, uh, rec has seen the harm, the, the harm uh, that's, that's done to babies uh, from circumcision. Still, many doctors point to evidence that shows circumcised males have a slightly reduced risk for sexually transmitted diseases and other illnesses. There are also a lower number of penile cancers among the uh, uncircumcised compared to the circumcised. So all of these data show benefits of the circumcision, but that's not a big number that we're dealing with altogether. So how much are we really benefiting the overall population? The debate over circumcision has raged for years, and it's unlikely to be resolved for doctors or parents by this single report. But pediatricians say at least it gives parents important information they need to know before they make the decision for their sons. In New York, Molly Falconer, Fox News.